Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on image registration using ORP features and RANSEC in Python. I have talked about the same topic in MATLAB, but in this video I would like to do the same topic which is image registration in Python. Let's get started and see how we could do that. As I said, this video is going to be a tutorial on image registration using ORP features and RANSEC in Python. Image registration is the process of overlaying images of similar scene which have gone through different transformation because of being taken from a few viewpoints or at a few times or by different sensors or the same sensors but different filters. In total, there have been two main methods for image registration area-based and feature-based approaches. In the area-based method, no features are extracted and the areas are matched up. But in the case of feature-based methods, first salient features of the images are extracted and then they are matched up. In the case of the area-based methods, usually control points are first detected or selected by the user and are then used to form a matrix of transform between the images to be registered. While these methods are very popular, they usually lack a high level of accuracy as the points selected are not some kind of features which makes them incapable of invariancy to different types of distortion. Feature-based methods are comprised of the following steps. First is the feature detection in which salient distinctive features such as edges, corners, and so on are detected. Second is feature matching in which the features in the reference and the test image are matched up. Third is the transform model estimation in which a mapping function is estimated transforming the test image to the reference one using the matched up features between the images. Using this approach, features from the test and reference images with the most similar invariant descriptions are paired as the corresponding ones. The crucial point of all feature-based matching methods is to possess discriminative and robust feature descriptors that are invariant to all the assumed differences between the images. Different types of features have been utilized for the purpose of image registration such as edge, corner, and so on. Here we are using ORB which is an efficient alternative to SIFT or SERF algorithms used for feature extraction in computation cost, matching performance, and mainly the patents. SIFT and SERF are patented and you are supposed to pay for their use, but ORB is not patented. To make the matching process more robust when using ORB, RANSEC is also utilized to identify the outliers in the matching candidates. The outliers identified using RANSEC are set aside and a transform matrix is then obtained between the test and reference images features that fell in the inlier category. In this video, I will be registering the first and third channels of this RGB image to the middle channel. In other words, I'm going to be registering the R and B channel to the G channel, which is the green channel. Let's go to Python and see how we can do that. So here's the coding for this problem. The main library that I'm going to be using is OpenCV. I'm going to be also importing NumPy. This is where the image is located. And I'm going to be reading the image using again OpenCV. It's very easy. I would just add the folder where the, where the image is located. And then this is the name of the image, Mona Lisa, not registered. And then I go through these four loops for two channels, the first and the third channel. You would go through the channels. The reference is going to be the second channel, which is one in Python. And then this is where I specify the number of features that I'm going to extract. This is where the features are extracted the key points and their descriptors and here is where they are matched and then I only get 90% of the matches and then this is where I use RANSEC to specify the outliers and this is where I also fit the hemography matrix and then this is where I'm transforming the first and the third channel with respect to the second channel and the same thing for the next channel it's going to be coming out I'm going to put the middle channel back into the image that I have transformed because I don't want to be transforming the reference which is the middle channel and this is where I'm just changing the image format to UINT8 and this is where I'm saving the image in the same folder very easy I'm specifying the folder and then the variable which is the transformed image 
and then here is where I'm concatenating the registered image with the not registered image so that I could show them at the same time using IM show in OpenCV. Let's run this and see what happens. Here's the result. This is the registered image. This is the not registered image. And you could see that the method that we use here in, in Python was very successful in registering this image. Here was, here was the coding again. It's very simple. This is the I am right. I, I've also saved the registered image in this folder as you can see here. It's very, very simple. The name of the image along with the path that it's going to be located in. And then this is the registered image. The same thing with I am read. We just have to specify the path where the image is located along with the name of the image. Everything else was very simple. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and you were able to get something out of it. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.